Guys, today I will be sharing how to make mocha mamon. To begin, we're gonna preheat the oven at 180 degrees Celsius and then with a small amount of butter, grease the mamon mold. This will ensure that the mamon will come out easily from the um, mamon mold. All in all, the recipe that I'm gonna share will make about 9 to 10 mamon. For the ingredients, we're gonna need 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil, 85 grams or 6 tablespoons plus 1 teaspoon of cake flour, half a teaspoon of cocoa powder, I use Dutch process, 1 and a half teaspoon of instant coffee, 1 and a half teaspoon of baking powder, 1 fourth teaspoon of salt, 50 ml of water 75 grams of sugar or three and a half tablespoon plus one teaspoon plus four egg yolks to begin combine the water and the coffee give it a mix and then set this aside combine the cake flour baking powder salt and the cocoa powder Give it a mix and then we will set this aside. We will sift this later. So combine the egg yolks and the sugar. Give it a mix until it is light pale yellow or most of the sugar is dissolved. Now we can add the coffee mixture give it a mix now while we skin gradually add the oil finally sift in the dry ingredients Now using a spatula, mix using the folding method to avoid over mixing. We will set this aside and we're gonna move on to the meringue. For the meringue, we need four egg whites. We're gonna need electric mixer for this. Once it's frothy, we can add one fourth teaspoon of cream of tartar. Continue beating for about 1 minute. After 1 minute, gradually add 1 fourth cup of sugar. Once the sugar is all in, continue mixing until we reach the stiff peak stage. And this is the stiff peak stage now. We're gonna combine the meringue and the um, mocha batter. In three additions using the folding method again. And this is the last addition of the meringue. At this point, when you unfold, um, make sure not to over mix or else um, all the air from the meringue will go flat. So we're gonna divide the batter into nine to 10 uh, mamon molds. I add about three tablespoon in each um, mamon tin. And then we will bake this in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 18 minutes. But for me, um, 15 minutes is perfect. Give it a tap before putting it in the oven. And this is what it looks like after baking. Um, this is important. Um, flip this upside down for about at least 5 minutes. 
just like so. While it's still hot, one teaspoon of instant coffee, one fourth teaspoon of cocoa powder, 74 grams of granulated sugar, 111 grams of butter, one and a half teaspoon of water, and 37 grams of egg whites. To begin, we're just gonna make a paste. So combine the water and the coffee, then add in the cocoa powder. Give it a mix until it is well combined. Um, you may not need all of this, so it's according to your taste. So, so we're gonna use a double boiler to do this process. So combine the sugar and the egg whites, and then we're gonna cook this or Put this on top of a simmering water until all the sugar is dissolved this might get really hot so you might want to use a spatula but I'm using my hands to feel the granules of the sugar once I feel that the granules of the sugar is all dissolved I'm gonna take this out of the heat then using an electric mixer I'm gonna beat this until it comes to room temperature So once it reach room temperature, we can slowly add the butter. Butter should be at room temperature. And then we're just gonna continue um, mixing this until the buttercream starts holding its shape. Just like this. At this point, we can slowly add in the... Um, coffee flavor that we make or the coffee paste that we make don't add it all at once taste if it's good enough i ended up only using um, three-fourths of the paste now it's time to remove the mamon from the tin and this is what the mamon looks like you can stop from here or you can move on putting the mocha swiss meringue buttercream so get about one tablespoon of the buttercream and spread it on top of the mamon This is optional. I've got um, chocolate shavings that I'm putting on the side of the mamon. Don't get too excited putting chocolate shavings because we don't want to um, overpower the mocha flavors. And this is the finished product. I hope you give this a try. It is so easy to make and it's so good. I highly recommend you trying this. And just to show you what it looks like inside when you cut it in the middle it's very light and fluffy thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next week bye